Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the best iOS 14 app to create custom icons. There's no more shortcut redirect at all and no jailbreak or anything like that. Now, this is a new application that's going to be available in the App Store in about two weeks from today. So it's very exciting, but we get to try it out with Test Flight. So just make sure that you go to your App Store and make sure that you download Test Flight. It's just an app from Apple. So if you just go ahead to your App Store and just search for Test Flight, you just want to download it from the App Store really quickly. So it's just this application right here, it's just beta testing applications that are gonna be on the App Store shortly. So just make sure you go ahead and download that application and then go into the description or comment section down below and I'll have a link over to the application that you guys are gonna be adding with Test Flight. Once you click on that, you can go over to Test Flight and you will see this right here, Icon Board. That's the application that we're gonna be using to create the icons. So once you click on that link I have in the description, you can just click on Accept and then Install. So just give this a couple seconds to finish installing here and then we can open it up. Now, uh, what we do here is we just click on next, and this is gonna start telling us that we can start testing it, so we can go ahead and start testing it, and we'll be able to create multiple home screens here, which is pretty cool. So to create your first one, you wanna go to the bottom right and click on the plus button, and then we'll have our first screen right here. You just click on that, and then here we have lots of options we can do here. We can create icons, we can change the background and everything like that. So to start creating icons, you just wanna click on the icons button, and then the plus button, and then you wanna click on your first icon. And then what you do here is you wanna scroll down and you wanna to go to where it says action and click on that. And then here's where we choose the app we wanna make the icon for. So we can either search for an app or we can go to system applications. So to start off, we can just search for an application and let's just say we wanted to do Instagram. We search for Instagram and we find it just like this, click on it. And then it actually grabs the actual app. So it's not gonna have anything to do with shortcuts or anything like that whatsoever. It's just gonna grab the actual application, which is really awesome. And then once we click on the application that we want, we go back to where it says configure icon and click the back button. Now we go to under where it says icon and we can start doing by clicking glyph. If you click glyph, you'll be able to choose the image that you would like to use. So make sure that you have an image for Instagram that you would like to use. To add your image, you just click on image and then allow the access to all photos. And then you just wanna click on the image that you would like. And that will add that in there. We can go back to configure icon. And then you can see our icon is right there. We can then change the glyph color as well. It can also make it glossy if you would like to as well. I don't really like the glossy look to it. I don't think it looks very good. If you'd like to change the glyph color as well, you can go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna leave mine white for the tutorial, uh, but that will change the background of it if there is gonna be one. Now this down here below is the background type and the background color. So if you wanna change that as well, you can. Uh, and then the border width and border color you can change as well. So there's lots of customizations you guys can do in this application. Once you're done customizing your icon, you can go back on the icons list and then you will then see that icon is there. If you don't like it after you see it, you can go back into it and you can edit it more. So say if I wanted to change the background color to white, I can do that and then go back to configure icons and then we'll change it to white just like that. Very easy to set up. And then to adjust the name of it, you just go back into it. At the very top here, you can see there's a name there. So you just replace that with the application that you are downloaded and you created. So we can just go Instagram and then click OK. And then that will all be changed and it will open up Instagram directly for us. Now I'm just gonna quickly create another one as well. So to create another icon, you just click the plus button right beside that. It'll create icon two. You can then go into it and change it. So I'm gonna create a Spotify one right now. So I'm just gonna type in Spotify as the name, click OK. And then uh, under action, we want it to open Spotify. So we just go to search and then search for Spotify. Just like that, click on Spotify, go back to configure icon. And then under icon, go to glyph again, image, click on your Spotify image, and then we can back out. And my background color is already white, so it matches my other one. We can then scroll down and look at anything else we would like to change, but this is exactly what I did to my first one, so just keep on the same trend. I'm gonna keep it the exact same so it looks the same. And then we can back out, and then we will see the Spotify application is done there as well. Now, you guys can create a ton of applications that you would like to create. You can make your own home screen on here and then export it yourself. But for this video's sake, I'm just gonna export these ones to show you guys how to set it up and it works. And then you guys can go ahead and create as many as you would like. So that once you're done creating all the icons that you would like, you can go back on here, scroll down, and click on export icons. And under that, you'll see copy and go. You wanna click on copy and go. That will open up Safari. It's gonna give you an error just like this. That's, that's what it's supposed to do, so don't worry. We're just gonna go up to the top uh, bar here, and then we're gonna long press on it, and click on paste, and then go. It's gonna pop up this here saying this website is trying to download a configuration profile. Do you want to allow this? You wanna click on allow. And then we're gonna go over to our profiles under our settings. So we're gonna open up settings. 
And then we're gonna go to general, scroll down, and we're just gonna give it a second to open up profiles. Sometimes it takes a second to load. You guys just seen mine load in right there. If it's not loading for you, just give it a second. Sometimes it takes a couple seconds. Uh, but once it's popped up, you can click on profile, and that's gonna give you this profile here. You wanna click on that and click on install, and then put in your password, and then install. And install again, and then click on done in the top right corner. Then we can exit out of here and you will see our icons are right here. To open up the icons, they open up right away. As you guys see, my Spotify application opened up right away without any shortcuts or anything like that. And it's working right away. It's a very awesome application, a very powerful tool to use. I cannot wait for this to come out on the iOS app store, uh, but we can still preview it for the next couple weeks until it does. Anyhow, I really hope I was able to help you guys out with showing you guys how to create custom icons with no more shortcut redirect. If this video was helpful to you, be sure to leave a like on it and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching.